Russia is potentially considering the acquisition of Iranian-made Fadeh 110 missiles amid the ongoing war in Ukraine, as part of strengthening its military ties with Iran. This information was disclosed by the Washington-based Institute for the Study of War think tank. Senior Russian and Iranian military officials have recently reviewed advanced Iranian military equipment. It's worth noting that this possibility had already been highlighted by the Army Recognition Group in an article dated October 16, 2022. Before delving into the implications of Russia's potential acquisition of Fadeh 110 missiles, it's crucial to understand the historical backdrop of military relations between Russia and Iran. Since the early 1960s, Moscow and Tehran have been expanding their defense and security ties. Approximately 15 years before the Islamic Revolution in Iran, Soviet military specialists offered advisory roles to Iran, and many Iranian officers were trained in the Soviet Union. From 1989 to 1991, for intergovernmental agreements were signed in the field of military technology cooperation. Following these agreements, Russia supplied Iran with various military equipment, including two long-range anti-aircraft missile systems, 24 MiG-29 fighter jets, and 12 Su-24 bomber aircraft, totaling an amount of 1.3 billion US dollars. Since the 90s, Russia has delivered to Iran 5,000 Faggot anti-tank missiles, 5,000 Malyevka anti-tank missiles, 3,000 Conkers anti-tank missiles, 130 BMP-2 turrets, 150 48N6 missiles for S-300 PMU-2 air defense systems, and search radar 64N6. The Fateh-110 is a short-range, road-mobile, solid-propellant ballistic missile that began its development in 1997. The missile is mounted on a 6x6 truck and has an operational firing range of 250 km with an accuracy of 250 mcep, circular error probability. It was initially designed to replace Iran's aging Scud systems and is based on the Russian Mader 65 Frog missile, although some sources claim it's a copy of the Chinese DF 11. The Fateh 110 is a short range ballistic missile, SRBM manufactured by Iran's state-owned aerospace industries organization. This missile has seen action in the Syrian civil war, where it is utilized by both Iran and Syria, the latter refers to it as the Tishran. While it has been confirmed for use by these two nations, reports also suggest that the missile has been exported to Hezbollah in Lebanon, although it has not been deployed or displayed there. The need for a robust and dependable missile system like the Fateh 110 became evident to Iran following the Iran Iraq War. In response to the lessons learned from the Iran Iraq War in the 1980s, Iran sought to build a ballistic missile arsenal with enhanced precision and accuracy. Initiating the development of the Fateh 110 in 1995, Iran aimed to create a solid fueled, short range ballistic missile that could be launched from a road mobile system allowing for greater flexibility in deployment. Over the years, Iran has introduced several variations of the Fateh 110. In 2011, Iran unveiled the Khalij Fars, its first anti-ship ballistic missile, which is a derivative of the Fateh 110. The Khalij Fars has a range of 200 to 300 kilometers and employs an electro-optical sensor for target guidance. A successful test of the Fateh 110 was conducted in March 2017, where it accurately hit targets more than 250 kilometers away. The basic Fateh 110-I variant has a maximum range of 200 kilometers, approximately 124 miles, and can carry a payload of up to 650 kilograms. In addition to the Fateh 110, Iran has also developed the Zulfagar, a single-stage, solid-propelled short-range ballistic missile with a range of 700 kilometers. A new long-range version called the Desfil missile was unveiled in February 2019, boasting a range of 1,000 kilometers. For Russia, the acquisition of additional, relatively inexpensive missiles like the Fateh 110 could prove useful in its ongoing war efforts in Ukraine. The cost of domestically made cruise missiles, such as the Caliber or KH-101 and KH-555, can go up to $1.7 million each. In contrast, 
Iranian-made options like the Fadeh 110 offer a more budget-friendly yet effective alternative.